Hello friends, Saurabh here back again with another video at Progressive Coder. Today we are going to look at a very very interesting problem and that is sort a stack using a temporary stack. This problem is a little different because ideally you don't want to use stacks to, so to sort, uh, uh, sort a particular data. Uh, we have better ways of doing that. But what I have felt is that whenever this question is being asked in an interview setting, the objective of the interviewer is to test your knowledge about this stack data structure. And that could be the only main reason for asking this question because the approach is not that efficient as well. Uh, it takes uh, a kind of quadratic time complexity, but it really helps you solidify your understanding of the stack data structure. So we are going to look at this problem also from that same perspective. Uh, you all know that Progressive Coder, our goal is to uh, build this channel as a ready-made resource uh, for anyone who is preparing for an interview, also anyone who is you know, just trying to enhance their knowledge about something. Uh, so if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I would definitely urge you to please subscribe to the channel. Uh, also don't forget to press the uh, bell icon so that you can get notifications as soon as we upload a new video out there. Uh, having said that, uh, let's start uh, with discussing the problem in the next section. So imagine that we have this stack uh, 4, 2, 3, 1, 5. 4 is the top of the stack and 5 is the bottom of the stack. Uh, so the first important method that a stack should support is pop. Uh, so pop means that we have to return the top element of the stack to the consumer. In this case, that element was element 4. The second important method is push. Push means uh, putting an, a new element on onto the top of the stack. So we had elements 2, 3, 1, 5 where 2 was the top of the stack and a new element comes in 6. We will be putting it on top of the element 2. So the new top element is 6. Another important method uh, that a stack data structure should support is peak. What is peak? Peak is just to see the top element of the stack without removing it from the stack. So in this case, if a consumer uh, calls our stack with the peak method, we will just tell the value of the top element. We will not do any changes to the stack as such. So these three uh, methods are really important in the problem which we are trying to look at. That is sort a stack using a temp stack. We will be using all three methods uh, in the uh, problem solution. All right, so time to look at the solution. So we will work with the same example stack, uh, six, two, three, one, and five. Six is the top of the stack and five is the bottom of the stack. And considering the FIFO property of the, of the stacks, uh, if we start popping the elements from the main stack, the first element will uh, to be popped will be six, of course, and so on. So to begin things, we also have a temp stack over here, which is empty. Uh, so straight away we will be moving the uh, top element of the main stack to the temp stack like so. Uh, so basically now 6 is into the temp stack and the main stack has a new top element that is 2. Uh, now we will pop element 2 from the main stack like so. And what we have to do is we have to compare this element with the top of the temp stack. In this case that 6. But we don't want to remove the element 6 right now, we just want to compare. So we will be using the peak operation of the stack which we just saw. Uh, using that we will simply compare uh, 2 with 6. Of course 2 is smaller than 6. So what we are going to do is we now pop element 6 from the temp stack, move it back to the main stack and then we put element 2 into the temp stack. So element 2 is smaller than 6. So it will be at the uh, bottom of the temp stack. Now we pop uh, element 6 again from the main stack. We do the comparison again. Uh, 6 is greater than 2 this time. Uh, so we peak element uh, 2 or uh, top of the uh, uh, stack and we just do a comparison and 6 is of course greater than 2. So we just simply put 6 on top of the uh, temp stack. Now we pop element 3 from the main stack. Uh, we again do the comparison. 3 is of course less than 6. Uh, so what we are going to do, again we move element 6 from the temp stack to the main stack and 3 takes its place onto the top of the temp stack. So if you notice over here, uh, our elements are now getting into the sorted order. So 2 is uh, smaller than 3. So they are both in the correct order. 
Now we pop element 6 again from the main stack. We again do the comparison. Of course, this time 6 is greater than 3. So we put that onto the top of the temp stack like so. Uh, now we have only two elements left in the main stack. So we are going to pop element 1 like so. And again, we do the comparison. Uh, so one is lesser than 6. We just do a peek and then, you know, compare the elements. Uh, of course, one is less than 6. So what we have to do, we have to move 6 back to the main stack like so. But now we do the comparison again with element 3 as well. Uh, so we find that one is smaller than 3 also, right? Uh, so 3 also needs to go back to the main stack like so. Now 1 will be compared to 2. Of course, 1 is smaller. So 2 also needs to go to the main stack. And 1 is going to take the place at the bottom of the stack. So this is how uh, we will be moving the elements from one stack to another and finally arriving at the sorted order. Let's continue. So now we pop element 2 and we do the comparison again. 2 is this time greater than 1. So we put that on top of the temp stack. Now we look at uh, element 3. Of course it is greater than 2. It goes top of the stack in the temp stack. Uh, now we pop element 6. It is greater than 3. It goes to the top of the temp stack like so. Now we have only one element remaining in the main stack 5. We pop it also. We do the comparison with uh, 6. Uh, of course 5 is less than 6. So what do we need to do? We need to move 6 back to the main stack like so and 5 will become the top element in the temp stack. And finally we again pop element 6 from the main stack and we put that on the top of the temp stack. So if you notice over here our elements are now in sorted order from bottom to top. We now need to move it back into the main stack. So we start popping elements from the temp stack like so 6 uh, comes first then 5 then 3 then 2 and finally 1. And now our main stack is in sorted order. So if a consumer is asking for the elements from the main stack they will get it in the sorted order that is 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6. And the temp stack is now empty. We can discard it after the sorting process is over. Basically, it's just a temporary uh, stack. Uh, of course, the solution, if you would have noticed, has a quadratic time complexity because we are iterating uh, multiple times through the, uh, through the stack. Uh, but that's not the point of this problem. The point of this problem is to understand the stack data structure in a much more meaningful way. Uh, don't worry about the code. The code for this problem is there in the comment section uh, below. Uh, it is written in JavaScript, but the same concept uh, prevails uh, if you are using any other programming language of your choice. It's up to you, basically. Uh, so it, so that's all there is to this problem. And if you liked this video, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are going to look at various such problems in the coming days and a lot of other resources will also come up uh, uh, in the coming days. And so do, please do subscribe and also uh, press the notification button so that you instantly get notified whenever we are posting a new uh, video. Uh, with that said, have a nice day everyone. Uh, goodbye.